everybody, Dr. Dave here again with another science experiment for you to explore at home in your kitchen or wherever you are in your house. Today, we're gonna to make rainbows. I've been noticing there's a lot of rainbows on people's windows as I walk through the town where I live. Rainbows painted by children, rainbows and massive banners in school grounds. I've even seen a rainbow painted on the front of somebody's garage door. So I thought today in our science, we'd make some, some rainbows. I hope you enjoy the experiment. For this experiment you'll need a few simple pieces of equipment. You need a glass of water, you need a mobile phone, one which has got a little torch that you can switch on at the back of it, you need a piece of white paper and just an ordinary CD or DVD. Let's start with our first experiment. Take the glass of water and put it just on the edge of the paper. And then take your mobile phone and make sure your torch is on. And then just put it behind the glass of water at the bottom. So that the light is shining through the water and making an image on the paper. And then gradually just move your phone up the side of the glass until it reaches the surface of the water and then if you look at your paper you'll start to see that within the image of the light there are coloured rainbows forming sometimes they're red and then yellow and purple sometimes they seem purple and yellow and red see if you can move the phone around until you can get the best rainbows. Just move it up and down slightly to see which ones, which position gives you the best rainbow. The rainbows form because white lights made of all different colours and when they hit the surface of the water those colours get bent in all kinds of different ways and it separates all the different colours of white light into its different colours, red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. How many colours can you see in the rainbow? For the second part of our experiment, we just need the CD and the mobile phone. So first of all, turn your CD over so the shiny side is facing upwards. You might already begin to see all different colours shining, not just white and silver, but all different colours starting to shine on the back of the disc. Then take your mobile phone and shine its light onto the disc and you should see some rainbows starting to form. Perhaps you can see more than one rainbow. Move the phone around and see how you can get the best rainbows you can. Then take the phone away and then put some lights on in your room. I'm just going to put the kitchen lights on, on top, under, which are under the cupboards above the work surface. You put them on. Wow! We get some fantastic rainbows now. If you move your head around, the rainbows will change colour and shape. Wow! Now these rainbows are caused because on the disc, the CD or the DVD, there are lots of little lines etched in the metal that makes the disc. And as the light, the white light, hits those little lines, again they're bent at all different angles and some places the blue light collects together and the green light collects together and the yellow light and the red light connects together to make 
the rainbows that we can see. Why are people putting rainbows on their houses and in their windows and painting them in school grounds on big sheets of cloth? What's so special about a rainbow? Why is a rainbow special to you? In the Bible, there's a story about the rainbow. It's a story about how God put the rainbow in the sky. It's in the book of Genesis at the end of the story of Noah and a flood that covered the whole earth. And God said to Noah, I'm placing my rainbow in the sky as a sign I uh, care for all people and all creatures on the earth. It's a sign of my love for them. The rainbow is a sign of hope and a sign that God knows the things that we need in our lives, in our ordinary lives and at special times in our life when life can be difficult. Try and think of someone you know who needs hope today, who needs to know that God is caring for them and with them. Perhaps it's someone in your family or a friend you've not seen for a while. Perhaps it's grandma or granddad or an uncle or an aunt. Well, just think of their name as you look at the rainbow and ask God to show them his love to bring them his peace and to give them hope wherever they are, whatever they're facing in life. Thank you God for the rainbow which brightens our skies, which is a sign of your love, your care and your hope that you are always bringing to us. Help us to trust in your hope and remember that when you see when you see a rainbow in the sky, that you are always with us. Amen. Well, I hope you've managed to make some fantastic rainbows in your kitchen. And I hope that's reminded you that God is always with us, with you and your family and your friends, wherever they are. And when you're out and about, going out for your exercise once a day, like we can do at the moment, have a look to see if you can spot any rainbows in the sky. You might see them over uh, some of the days when we have shower clouds around. Look out for the rainbow and remember that God cares for you. Thanks for joining us to Messy Church to Science today. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. We'll be sharing some more experiments as the weeks go on. God bless and happy experimenting as you explore the wonder of creation and the wonder of the creator.